so these two fighting for a chance to have a crack at Paul Lloyd's British bantamweight title. And this could be a very interesting fight indeed. It's the first significant test for this fellow, Noel Wilders, the 24-year-old from Castleford, Yorkshire. He's a smooth, neat boxing southpaw. But this fellow he's in with, the former British and Commonwealth flyweight champion, A.D. Lewis, a real firebrand and with a good record as a puncher, even up at this weight. A big chance too, Glenn, for Lewis to get himself right back into the shake-up, isn't it? Yes, it is. It really should be a good matchup because the good clash of strategy. You got the, the boxer against the, the puncher, and you know if it works right, it, it could be an entertaining fight. Look for A.D. Lewis. He calls himself the mighty atom to be crowding Wilders to break him up with body punches, destroy his rhythm. Wilders, though. He's very adept at putting together smooth little combinations like that. He's no kind of puncher. Can't really punch his way out of a paper bag, in all honesty. He's only got three early wins in his unblemished record of 14 straight victories. But he makes up for that with the skills, Glenn. Yes, he does. But he really needs to be busy in this fight because Eddie Lewis will really come at him. It'll be a constant pressure. So Wilders is going to have to be very sharp, very busy, and keep punching throughout. Will this remember in the grey trucks? He'll be looking to be very busy with that southpaw jab all the time to keep Lewis away. His career had a big setback when he was stopped by David Gallo in a European title tilt. But this may not be such a demanding exercise as that for him because Gallo looked class that night, real class. <laughs> Lewis only four feet ten and a half inches tall. He's Britain's smallest pro. He's one of the smallest in the world, but not quite the tiniest. That's baby Jake Matmala. Oh, Willis is looking to get that sh sharp southpaw jab going. He's falling short and just missing with it a few times. Occasionally he gets a few punches together. They're connecting, but Eddie Lewis is often difficult to hit. Very short and comes right. in in a crouch which makes it even harder to get to him just remember a final eliminator for the British Bantamweight Championship so it goes the full 12 rounds right if it lasts that long of course Welcome back to the Ipswich Corn Exchange live boxing for you tonight. And you're watching a final eliminator with some neat boxing from Noel Wilders in this final eliminator for the British Band of Weight title. And with the former British and Commonwealth flyweight champion, A.D. Lewis. They're both 24 years of age. Wilders, four months, the senior man. But he's had less fights. Will is getting the better of the first round, but already showing that he has to work very hard. And Eddie Lewis is a tough man to keep it bare. And Lewis has already sustained a little bit of damage to his nose, I think. They were working away at that in the corner. Well, I think it may be Lewis expects to lose a, a few rounds early on. He'll be looking for his work rate, his strength 
to tell later in the fight. And I think that's where we really get an idea of how good Noel Wilders is. He's the sort of operator who's always going to have to do things the long way round, reliant totally on his skills. At the top level, you can't really expect him to be knocking anybody out. It's good work from him, though. The sharp combination that did seem to fluster Lewis a little bit, and that's where he could do a little bit of damage just with sharp punches. Right, step back. Lewis only one defeat in his career against Guerrero, and Wilders unbeaten so far. height difference between them is seven inches. Significant advantages then for Wilders. As long as he can keep the fight at range, he's managing to do that by and large so far, Glenn. You see, as even at times his work's a little ragged, he's still getting on. If, if he misses with the southpaw jab, he's coming back with that straight left. But he's having his best success when he puts two or three together. More blood again from the nose of A.D. Lewis. Who's finding it hard really to strike a rhythm so far. Just being outboxed at range by Wilders. Still content just to walk forward, Lewis, but he's been caught as he comes in. He needs to just move his head a little bit, try and get a, a bit more rhythm and start letting punches go himself. He's not really getting any shots off, is he? He's doing a lot of walking, but not much punching. Yes, it's good pressure with the feet from Lewis, but that's not what gets you points. You've got to start letting the punches go. Early exchanges going the way of Noah Wilders. But he's going to have to work for this, you feel. Welcome back to Ipswich. Let's see what the computer is having to say about things uh, after we have a look at this action. Here it is. It's good, just good from Willis getting his punches off. Little combination of three punches. First one being covered off, and then getting through with the, the other two. Second Decent round work. Three. Third round. Although A.D. Lewis had his championship successes at flyweight, interestingly, when he's fought at eight stone three or above, he's won 12 and drawn one in his career and scored over 20 knockdowns. Wilders has never had anybody on the floor. It tells you something about the difference in power. So if Lewis can get there and can start to get some solid-looking punches off, who knows? It could change. But I think also reading into that, Ian, that it's flyweight is where Lewis has fought his best opponents. At bantamweight, the, the opponents not quite as good. You see, outpointed Keith Knox and Mark Reynolds, and stopped Peter Colshaw in eight rounds in what was easily the best performance of his career. Lady Lewis. Very slippery as well, though, isn't he, Will? As he's hard to catch cleanly, maybe a little underrated. He's pretty well kept secret, really. I guess it's difficult to pin them down. He's also boxing out of the, the south force stance. This is a, a little difficult to get to. And I think that's proven that the case for Lewis. Well, Lady Lewis had trouble with Guerrero, who is also a south for the European title fight. Is good from Lewis, and that is going to take right. 
an awful lot out of Wilders, who's got to work hard to keep him off. Some ease. Amy <laughs> Lewis looks like a bank robber who doesn't know the combination to the safe. He's getting the distance, he's either not getting the shots off or he's missing by Wiley Lewis. But with these tactics, maybe the later stages of the fight will be his territory. I'm sure that's the, that's the game plan. I'm Expect he expected that. He knew it's going to be difficult to pin down the boxer. And we'll be looking to do his better work as the rounds go on. Just getting a little closer, Lady Lewis. One or two signs of minor swelling around the cheekbone of Wilder. It's nothing much. Well, you would expect at some point. He's going to have to get drawn into a fight, Will, and really that's where the, the test will be. Speedway for you Thursday night. Action from the Elite Speedway League. Ipswich against Hull. And coming on Sunday morning, live superbike action from San Marino. It's round seven of the World Championship. So live speedway and live superbikes for you this week on Sky Sports. Tonight, live boxing. Starry Baker after the conclusion of Wilders against Lewis with Glenn and Ian. Yeah, thanks, Paul. Fourth round, and Noel Wilders dominating this final eliminator for the British Bantamweight title. Thus far, he's the one in the grey trunks. It's a Yorkshire Lancashire battle. This War of the Roses, if you like, with A.D. Lewis and the black trunks being from Berry. Well, uh, looking for a big left hook to the body and a big roar going up from the, the Lewis fans, but still not connecting that clean. Getting a little closer at times, but he needs to start landing with combinations, Lewis, to have an effect. Lewis back with some of these shots. Keep him away from him. Lewis has to just shake off the suspicion too that maybe the best moments in his career are already in his past. Well, he's still just 24 years of age. He still thinks there's plenty of boxing left in AD Lewis, but. I think it's very important for him to get a, a victory here. He does hit hard though. And his 16 wins, 12 have come early. More blood from the nose of Lewis. He's had that trouble from the first round. door confrontation again isn't it this yes it is when he gets working behind the jab throwing his combinations and moving he looks quite good Willis, and is catching lewis quite easily but i think one of the things he shouldn't do is start standing still looking to try and trade with lewis that's what kind of good boxing brain i've always thought Wilders. and i would be surprised if he did try to get into that kind of to toe argument with Amy Lewis. He seems to know exactly what the correct strategy should be, and by and large, 
He's carrying it out to some effect so far, winning just about every round, I would say, wouldn't you? Yes, I've given him every round so far. There's too many single punches even still from, from Lewis. But Wilders is letting his go in combinations and little clusters, and that's much better for him. There is his round again. He's doing well so far. Imposing his style. Let's uh, take a look at the British bantamweight scene. Paul Lloyd is the champion, despite his demolition recently on the international stage by Marco Antonio Pereira. This is our idea of how we see the bantamweight scene. A.D. Lewis, we've got at two. Noel Wilders at four. There's Francis Ampopo still there on the scene as well. And the others hoping that they can get up there into the top three or so. Big fight, this one, for both of them. Oh, well, is still getting the best of it on the back foot, just looking with the, the good counters and a couple of good left hands, jolting the head back of A.D. Lewis. Still got the, the more the eye-catching punches. Yeah, good combination, just catching Lewis on the way and two good left hands, just pushing Lewis back. So here's the fifth round. Will there be a change in the pattern here? Or will Noel Wilders continue to boss affairs behind his raking southpaw lead? Let's have a look at the Glenn McCrory scorecard. Well, it, I've got it pretty emphatic. Everything so far going to Will is just better boxing. He's controlling. He knows exactly what to do, and he's doing it quite well. Good left hand, particularly there from Wilders. Didn't seem to see that one. But he's catching everything. His eye damage is run out for Lewis by the look of it. The problems are mounting up for him here. And the task is beginning to look a shade mountainous. John Keane, by the way, from Northampton, is the referee and official who's had a number of high profile appointments this year, including Oscar De La Hoya and Mike Quarte. Damaged by the left eye, A.D. Lewis. These jabs are taking their toll. He has good punches on the defensive from Wilders, keeping his cool under this pressure from Lewis. Lewis pressing with the feet, but being caught square on as soon as he gets close to Wilders, and Wilders capitalising on that. And so far, Wilders' performance of credit to his pretty unfashionable trainer, Michael Marsden and manager Trevor Callaghan, they've thought about this and you have to say, they're getting it right. Yeah. Right! Step back, step back, Bunker. Maybe just one punch from A.D. Lewis could spin things on their head here. Maybe. There's been nothing in Lewis' career so far to show that he Take a good one. Goes looked at a decent chin. Andrews, pretty hard to catch, isn't he? He's very hard. It's good, good movement, given Lewis lots of angles, and then quick with the, the counters. The jab working very well. Lewis finding it difficult to get out of the way of that punch. It's just looking a shade dispirited to me, A.D. Lewis. Like a, a character in search of a plot, isn't he? Good body shot from him there. That's where he needs to be, close enough to land those kind of punches. But as you said, Glenn, they're just single shots, aren't they? There's too many single shots throughout from Lewis. Needs to do something different. It's to see him all the way through from him, chasing, chasing, chasing. Maybe he needs to try something a little different corner with uh, Jack Doughty and uh, Gene Hackman that look alike Pete Richards <laughs> <laughs> well he does look like him doesn't he we keep saying that <laughs> there's a good left uh, good left hand excuse me from Wilders just put that one right through the guard 
And look at the jabs landed, 68 to Willis to just five for Lewis, and that really does bring home how many single shots that Lewis has landed. Well, some people knock the number of statistics that there are in sport these days, but that was a very telling one, wasn't it, from the uh, computer boffins sitting along from us. 68 to five with the jab. Here's round six. It's been one-sided, this so far, surprisingly one-sided. Noel Wilders boxing his way at the moment into British title contention. And if he wins this fight, he fully deserves his shot at Paul Lloyd. If, of course, Lloyd is going to carry on, you wonder about that a bit, too, after the way Marco Antonio Barrera knocked him around. Demolished him, really. I'm sure he'll be back. He's a, he's a good professional. I don't think that uh, took everything out of him. He'll still be there on the British and European team. Yeah, still effective at domestic level. All right. Wilders proving himself to be exactly that as well at the moment. Amy Lewis needs to do something, needs to step up the tempo, because if he does lose this fight, you just wonder where he can go, even at the age of 24. Used to be a bit of a wild child, Amy Lewis, earlier on in his career. He was a pretty poor trainer, he admits that. He used to shirk it sometimes, not turn up at the gym, but became more dedicated and picked up those uh, British and Commonwealth flyweight crowns. And this must be time to get very frustrating for Lewis. He's missing the punches. He's been caught when he gets close to Willis, and this is um, a little tough for him. is that this is a 12 rounder well <laughs> you would think it is but i mean as it goes on Willis is keeping cool relaxing more and catching lewis even more well, lewis with some good left hands in this round he's boxing neatly on the back foot at times as well Willis giving it a little bit of lateral right, movement right. Step back. Step back. looks to have a refrigerator somewhere up there Lewis working hard, trying to get to the body. We can will this with heavy body punches, but as yet there's no sign that that's becoming effective. Lewis has not been able to make a single dent so far now he's going to have a look at the cuts there's more damage by the eye and this could be the end of it this has got cut over the right eye now got another cut it's suddenly opened up cuts over both eyes this might be terminal damage for ad lewis in this fight i think john king will try to give him every chance but no he won't it's over ad lewis is stopped and he drop kicks his gun shield into the crowd in frustration he is distraught, but it was a smooth, smooth boxing display by Noel Wilders, who now moves on to get a shot at the British Bantamweight Championship held by Paul Lloyd of Ellesmere Port, and he deserves it.